so we are ready to move to our next step and for that first of all please let me remove this uh, slicer from here and let let us go back to our complete data once again and now let me place these slicers a bit at the corner and let me also bring in all my fields so if i click here i should be able to see my fields here and let me able little bit you know reduce the size okay so this is now a little bit better uh, on my dashboard let us talk about the next thing and that next thing is when we are working with PNL, we definitely would like to see the values of gross profit net profit well we have achieved little bit of that using the grand total and subtotal option there but what about the operating profit what about the profit before interest and tax what about iptida we want to see all of these values in our you know PNL. now unfortunately that is not possible within the, this pivot table but we what we can do is that we can add the all of that information using this all pivot tables uh, as a separate pivot table here and for that the first thing that i'm going to do is to copy this pivot table and paste it again here in, on the same sheet so i will copy this complete table from here and i will paste it here and once i do that you can see that we have this complete uh, you know this is no this actually this is a separate pivot table so keeping these row rows selected i will just you know double click here and you can see we have a better present all the numbers are appearing again and now what i need to do first of all let me press the escape key so that this uh, selection is now you know unselected and once i do that i will first of all remove all the fields from this pivot table so that i have a blank pivot table so i will delete this i will delete all of them and uh, i will delete the report as well and i will delete all of these rows as well so that i have a blank pivot table and now what i need to do is that i need to start right from scratch and the first value that i want to calculate for you is sales so basically we already have sales here but i just want to you know replicate that value so that you can quickly compare these uh, here and you can see that how we have calculated that so first of all in the year in the columns here i want to bring in the date so we will do that again so you can see we have this again complete hierarchy available and in the amount i want to bring in the value so i will go to my gl and i will say please bring in my amount so i will bring drag it here into my amount and now you can see that here in my data uh, the number that i am seeing is actually the total since there is no row context here this is the total of everything all the pnl items and the balance sheet and the existing items so now i want to tell my pivot table that please only make sure that these values are sales only because i want to present the sales and for that i will be using the filter option because you know i cannot be using the sales only option here in the rows because if i go to my if i go to my chart of accounts you can see if i bring any of these fields here so for example if i bring class or subclass or report that is going to bring in all the options so the only way i can filter data for sales only in this table is that i use this filter option and to apply the filter option to present sales only let me take you to chart of accounts again and let me show you how our data was organized so going back to my chart of accounts you can see that if i have to look at sales only let me scroll down in the PNL, in the class level we have trading account and in the subclass we have sales so if i say my uh, filter that please filter my data on subclass and please make sure that we are saying sales only that is going to work for me by the way you can work that at subclass level too as well but that is it let us not go to account and sub account because you know in that case you will have to define two filters which will say sales as well as sales return so i will work at subclass level so that you know the sales and sales return both are merged together when we apply the filter of sales so going back to my pnl here in my data i will go to apply this subclass filter and on that filter i will now say that please make sure that i'm seeing you know there are so many fields so rather i will select the i will use the search option so i will say please bring in the sales only and click ok and now if i you know number formatting is not properly applied so i'll quickly do that apply field settings number format and number and no decimal and comma separator 
and now if we compare our values here with the PNL values of sales you can see that in 2018 we have 3.575 in 2019 we have uh, 5.697 and 2020 we have 7.85835 so these are the same numbers that we have calculated in the PNL now you must be thinking then what is the benefit the benefit is we can now use this technique to calculate any value like gross profit or operating profit or IBTDA and for that I will again you know I will not spoil this uh, pivot table I will simply copy and paste this pivot table below and I will you know now change this to calculate the values of gross profit now definitely you are you must be saying that this is quite inefficient and uh, a quite slow process a clerical type of uh, method so we have a better method but that is with using DAX and before I take you to DAX I really want to perform this exercise here so that we we really start to understand our data and the way the data has been structured so that when we move to the DAX we are only focusing at the DAX level complexity and not confused within the data okay so let me show you how we calculate gross profit here now again I'm not going to change anything in the years and I'm not going to again the sum of total but I will use this filter to tell my power pivot that please only bring in the values that relate to the calculation of gross profit and if I take you to my chart of accounts you can see in my panel if I use the class level and tell my power bi that please only use the trading account at class level what power bi will do is sorry what power pivot will do is that power pivot will merge all of the data of sales sales return and cost of sales to, to calculate the net value of this level and you know that the net value of trading account is going to be the gross profit so let us use this and let us go to PNL. and in that filter here first of all let me remove this filter from subclass and I will bring the filter on class level so I will say let us move to the chart of accounts and let us bring the filter of class level and now that we have a filter here please apply the filter of trading account only and once you do that you know click OK and now you can see that the value that you have calculated here is same as the gross profit that we could see here in our PNL. So that is going to be 2.383. The next year we have 3.968 and the next year we have 5.341. So this way we have easily calculated our gross profit as well. Now working with the same technique, we will now move to our next value that should be calculated on the PNL analysis and that should be if to the earning before interest and tax and depreciation and amortization and for that first of all let me copy and paste this pivot table again and you know the next thing once we have done that the next thing that we will do is that we will move this filter of uh, class level so that you know we can bring in the filter that we need and now let me take you to my chart of accounts to explain you in the data that what we are trying to achieve okay so now you can see that if I work at the class level again and tell my um, power pivot that please select the, the class of trading account that is only going to calculate the gross profit and if I say please bring in the trading account as well as operating account that will take me directly to the operating profit and what I want is earnings before interest and tax and depreciation and amortization so I do not want to count these four accounts here rather I only want to stick to the operating expenses and cost of sales and sales now there is no such shortcut that we can use at the report level or the class level you can see at the report level we can only work at the PNL altogether at the class level we can work at the trading plus operating altogether there is no way we can you know stop and say that please exclude the depreciation and amortization so what I will do is that I will use the filter at subclass level and then I will say please use them uh, please uh, bring in the sales and cost of sales and the operating expenses well that is the only way we can do it here so let us go there and let us use the filter of subclass in the subclass level here first of all let me go to my chart of accounts and bring in the subclass in the filter now let us click on this drop down and uh, here let us click on all and the first thing that we would like to do is select this multiple items checkbox 
So I will click here to select that multiple item select box and now I will uncheck all of them. I will just click here so that everything is unselected. And now I want to bring in the cost of sales. I also want to bring in the sales and I also want to bring in the operating expenses. So let us check that again. We have sales, we have operating expenses and we have cost of sales. That is all what we wanted. So I will click on OK. And now you have the earnings before interest and tax and depreciation and amortization.